If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Valentine's Day Decorate with me. If you guys missed part one, I will go ahead and link it up in the corner. In that video, we decorated my coffee bar and my dining room table. And in this video, we'll be decorating my living room. Now, if you guys saw part one, you guys know that I'm taking a little bit of a different approach with my Valentine's decor. I'm adding just a few touches of Valentine's while still remaining very spring-like, just simple, sweet, and fresh. That is definitely what I am going for because I want to leave it up for longer than February 14 maybe just taking away some of like the specific Valentine's Day pieces but either way I think that the way it turned out I could honestly just leave it throughout the month which makes me super excited so I am even more excited to share with you guys in case you are like me and you're not really into the very in-your-face Valentine's decor I hope this brings you some inspiration as to how how you can still bring the holiday into your home while still making your home look beautiful and fit your style so yeah I'm really excited we also got the new Roman shades in the living room so I'm excited for you guys to see those and I got a few new pieces that I'll be incorporating and yes I'm just super excited so as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe we are so close to 20k thousand subscribers which is just amazing and and your support would mean the world to me so if you enjoy this video definitely share it if you can i really really do appreciate it you can follow me over on instagram and tag me if you do and yeah let's go ahead and get on started i hope you guys enjoy Okay friends, I'm getting started in this corner of my living room by first hanging up this picture frame that I recently ordered from Smallwood Home. I will go ahead and have them linked down in the description box, but I absolutely love these so much. It's not the first time I have ordered from them. This is the third time, but the first time I've gone with this larger size. I did order a second one to go on the other side of the window and I am just in love with the way it looks but on this little couch I just laid down a pink throw blanket I've had it for probably two years already and then I layered that beautiful pillow I got from Target this year and moving on to this other corner of my living room of course I have to have my blanket ladder up and I just placed a neutral blanket on it and for my mantle I left it super super simple you guys and I really love the feel of it so I just placed these glass vases with some dainty flowers inside of them I'm just trying to pull in some of the textures I used over in my coffee bar and if you guys saw that video you guys know I used a lot of glass pieces so I just wanted to carry that airy feeling through into my living room so I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side of the mantle I just recently got this beautiful mauve pink throw blanket from the Studio McGee line at Target and I think that paired with these neutral pillows it just looks so beautiful and intricate. I just love the romantic detail that it adds to this corner. The floral pillow is also from Target and the one behind it I already had and currently was using in my bedroom but I just brought out here. And then this beautiful log holder it was such an investment piece and it took me a long time to decide to buy it but I am so happy that I did this was $50 from Target but as you guys can tell it is just so beautiful and I just layered it in front of my mantle with an extra throw blanket and here is the other picture frame I got printed I just love these so much and paired along with the new shades on this window I just think this area looks so beautiful and I am so happy with it 
But moving on to this corner of my couch, I just went ahead and put the same pillow I have on the other corner and I layered this white ruffled one to bring in some of that white and right in front of it I layered more of a mauve pink pillow. I also just got this at Target and again it's just balancing colors. I think I've gotten better at choosing my pillows and I think it's all about making sure you have a balance of color. For my little side table, I just pulled out some of my devotionals and then these heart-shaped coasters and that is it. Now moving on to my entryway table, this is my favorite part of the entire living room and it is this beautiful wickered vase. I got this from Target and I'm just putting an arrangement of flowers. These are the same flowers I used in my dining room table. So again, just pulling everything together and making sure I have elements that I have in my dining room over in my living room and just it looks so beautiful and I'm so in love with the overall outcome. And just as a little extra detail, I went ahead and pulled out this bird candlestick holder and added a candle to it. A lot of you guys suggested putting a little bit of aluminum inside of the candle holder, which is exactly what I did with that one. But then I got a little bit lazy and I didn't do it with these ones. So you guys will see me struggle a little bit, but I am just layering my cozy white cottage books, one on top of the other, and then I am layering some candlesticks on top of them with some candles of course and that is it for this corner but then towards the middle of the table I use my heart shape dough bowl and I added some filler into it and I just really like the dainty delicate look of this table overall my front door I just went ahead and put down this rug this is also from the studio McGee line at Target and I love it I think it brings so much warmth to the area and really just makes it feel like an entryway even though it really isn't but you guys know that the layout of my living room truly just makes this little space feel like an entryway but anyways now for the bottom of the table I just put my someday sign this is from Hobby Lobby and on the side I layered some random vases I had on the other corner I put a basket with a throw blanket an extra throw pillow and then this cute little wreath that I made with some of the extra florals I had just to add that pop of pink that I have throughout my home and that is it for the bottom of this table Now to finish up decorating the couch, of course, I'm pulling out some more throw pillows. This one is my most recent one from Target from the Studio McGee line. It just has some mauve colored details on it. And then this one is also from Target as well as the pink one. I will layer in front of them, but the pink one is from two years ago. Nonetheless, I love the pillow selection I have this time around. I used a Euro size pillow in each 
corner of the couch which I had never done before but I really liked the outcome and I think it fills up my couch just a little bit more but now moving on to the coffee table I'm just using this tray from Poulin marketplace along with a little vase and some flowers and just a soy wax candle and that is it I kept it super simple but I truly love how this came out I'm enjoying this candle in a little intervals so I turn it on for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then I turn it off and I haven't experienced any problems so far with my allergies so I'm hoping that I can enjoy the rest of it but that is it for the decorating I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah let me go ahead and show you guys how everything turned out if I wrote you a song if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? Okay friends, while that is everything for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it brought you a lot of home decor inspiration and just showed you how you can bring in some sweet romantic touches into your home decor without necessarily having to put like in your face Valentine's Day decor up. I'm really excited with the way everything turned out. I'm fully enjoying it and again, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. As always, if you guys did, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe share this video turn on your notification bell for part three and for other content of course and until then i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day don't forget to see part one of my valentine's decorating series and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day i will see you guys in my next one bye Supposed to do